the DTS or the AC3 out or digital out on a laser displayer. Well the first thing you need to do is look for this little symbol for AC3 RF out and that basically tells you that this machine will play back the Dolby Digital track on a given laser. And this is basically the coaxial cable connection that you require to play back the Dolby Digital output. Um, these two particular connections here, the video out and the S video out, this is the you know inverted commas raw signal from the uh, laser disc, and this one here goes through the internal comb filter generally of a given laser disc player. Apparently, though, using one of these two SCART sockets will give you slightly better resolution uh, to this, but it's up to yourself which one you want to choose. Just pick one. So to play back the DTS signal, all you need is the optical out because the Digital tracks will automatically output through this, so if they happen to be DTS, they'll also output through this. So you then need to have the optical cable from this linked into the back of your AV receiver, and uh, it'll then automatically translate the DTS signal for you. Now, again, just getting back to this AC3. So in addition to having this particular output in the back of the machine, you need to then have a box in the middle, a box of magic, like this one. Now what this box does is it actually demodulates the analog signal that's coming out of there in this little box of magic and sends out at the back as you can see in this picture a digital signal and that digital coaxial signal can then be transferred over to your amplifier and the amplifier will then play back Dolby Digital so Dolby Digital requires a demodulator in addition to having this at the back of the player and DTS just requires you to have the optical out or a coaxial out in some machines but basically an optical out and uh, you're golden thank you bye bye